and welcome back to Race Gap. I'm Dan Sugano, aka FPV Skittles. Today we're going to be building track number four, which was created by Spit. So as always, we're going to start with the base, and you're going to want to put all your five ways on the base and save your four ways for the mid level. So first two, five ways, right here, and the back, next back. All right, so now that we have the base built, we're gonna build one level up. Every single, every single, and it gets four. Right, then, don't forget to add your extra little pieces. So now, now we're gonna do the next level of connectors. Then after we have this level built, we're going to go to the final level. This we're going to finish off the double ladder here. And then put our poles here and here. Alright, just make sure we've got this part in a straight line. And we're using our extra piece here basically to space the ladder from what we're calling the zigzag obstacle. So your 20th piece you just use right there and then all the spacing should work out itself if you're using these standardized gates. If not, you have to make sure that the center of your gates are at the center of where all the other gates should be. Basically, these gates are lined up. All right, so now that we've got track four all built and spaced out properly, let's go to the fly-through so you know how to run the track. Here is the fly-through for Race Gow track number four, created by Spit. You're going to start from behind the double gate, looking at the zigzag obstacle, and your start-finish gate is going to be the bottom of the ladder. So you're going to fly through that to start your time, go to the far gate on the zigzag, spin around that, come through the middle of the zigzag, then spin around the other gate on the zigzag, go through that, elevate, counterclockwise spin to split us through the middle, then you're going to go around the far gate on the zigzag again. This time elevate and slalom through the two top poles to clockwise split to split S through the front gate and then back to the ladder for a forced left ladder down back to the start. Here we go again, left turn, right turn, clockwise spin, counterclockwise spin to split S, around the far gate, slalom, clockwise spin to split S, through the front gate, and then force left ladder down back to the start. Alright, so the only real option you have on this track, since the last ladder is a force um, left ladder, is kind of to do a little bit more elevation changes. I'll do it here on this next lap. So you technically could go like over this gate if you wanted, through here, then you could go over this. Split us down, through. Here. So that's your only real option. So if you go through here, you can kind of go. I don't know if that would be faster for you. And same thing here, you could hop over this one. But the ladder at the end is forced left, so you're not allowed to spin that one right. So one thing you're definitely not allowed to do is fly backwards through any of the gates to gain an advantage or shorten your line. So on this track there are a few places where you could do the cheese move we've talked about before but it's definitely not allowed. So for example, you fly through here and then you go around this gate and back through it. You are not allowed to do this. So here's the start, around, you're not allowed to just go through it and spin around and then continue on the track. That is not allowed. Same thing with that gate right there. You would not be allowed to do that. Those moves are not allowed. All right, so let me show that one more time. You must go around the gate like that. You cannot go backwards through the gate and then back through it to shorten your time. Right there, also a not allowed move. All right, everyone. Hope that makes sense.
Good luck and happy whooping.